Well, hey guys and gals, welcome back to part three here on Glen Isla. The challenge map between myself, the console, and RD Allen. Yeah, we're more or less taking off where we left off after the last live stream. Skipped a bit of time, got fields ready. And uh, yeah, this is our new field. We'll let him go with that. And we'll run up to the farm. Um, Al Coolin was saying there at the end of the live stream that uh, we should get him a Hindra long box for moving the eggs. Uh, at which point I'd said to him that, you know, we had uh, you know, better plans for moving eggs, being the, the egg box autoload thing. But, I, yeah, I thought about it. I thought, oh, Mahindra would be a nice way to move it. And then I thought, you know what? I can go better than Mahindra. Yeah, we got the uh, Joanna Deer Gator. Or the croc. So we'll move our eggs that way. With the autoload pallet. As again, as anybody hasn't seen this. You just basically lift the egg box. Move it over near the pallet and it loads it. It's pretty class. Maybe we moved of course on uh, forks, but uh, there you go. Anybody that missed the live stream, uh, we went ahead and we got chickens. Finally. Um run into a bit of problem with this, the eggs boxes weren't spawning um, so I had to then go ahead and flatten out this area again because I had smoothed it out all, you know, all level, it was a slant um, I had to make this level and it seems the egg boxes are spawning now so you know that's uh, interesting but we've got that fixed uh, currently we have, let's see 11 of each of the chickens and uh, yeah, four roosters our horses are doing well, another couple of days there, ready to go. That's uh, 250 grand sitting there. So that'll be good. Welcome cash injection. Isn't that lovely, by The gate, yeah. Come on, Joanna dear, you can't beat it. Uh, what we got to do this episode? Uh, well, we started this on the live stream, and I thought we'll continue it. Um, as you can see, we've sort of deforested this area. Um, we can make our grass feed bigger. We'll have to get a stump cutter at some stage and get rid of the stumps first, but because it's a good bit of extra grassland. Yep. So jump into this tractor again. I am still suffering with a head cold, so or a flu. I don't know what it is, but uh, we'll get this shifted. Again, guys, for anybody that hasn't been watching, the challenge here is. Uh, on Glen Isla. It's a small enough map, guys. It's, you know, if the wood represents the full size of the map, you know, a normal size map, you can see what size is different. Um, yeah, the, uh, the challenge here is to have an animal pen of each um, animal, large one, filled with, uh, you know, all the feeding being done by. Uh, Whatever you harvest, you're not allowed to buy any feed from the shop. Um, we're going to fill the BGA, one of the pits of the BGA has about 5 million litres in this map. Um, full. We also have to own the whole map, pay back our loan, which for us is a half a million at the minute. Um, I haven't started on the loan just yet. So, you know. It's killing us, it's like 2 grand a day or something, interest, so. Stump. I found this wee log trailer. Um, was it on the mod hub itself? It is actually a decent wee mod. It stretches out. You can stretch it out to whatever length you want. It's pretty cool. Again, all the uh, the logs we're logging here. Um, we have to do 300 trees as part of the challenge. They all have to be manually handled handled so there's no auto load for the logs. Bales is a different matter guys because uh you know we're gonna be doing that many bales it's gonna be a nightmare to watch us do that. I to get through quite a few comments from uh, the last time we, we looked at the comment section on the videos. Should be alright. 
as well. Uh, yeah. Let's just say our breaking news video caused a bit of a, a bit of a spike in comments. I think it's the easiest way to put it. We'll get rid of that in a second. Also, got to keep an eye on our, com our combine as well because I haven't put tipper down yet. Using this one with the straps, uh, physics on it aren't great, but they're better than trying to close the claws around it. We're getting up pretty well. We're getting about twenty grand a trailer to this wood at the moment. Physics, gotta love it. Ah, uh, Bale Hamlin, what am I talking about? It's Log Hamlin. Oh, concentration, going quiet. No, no that's not gonna work. Don't lift the whole trailer. That one's very small to handle by size. See the light's not brilliant at the moment, but it's too small to fit in the trailer, is it? I'm wedging it among some of the other logs. We're stuck. How did we get stuck? Ah, that works better. So let's get uh, some comments out of the way. There's quite a few because we haven't uh, looked at the comments in the, uh, the videos here for quite a bit. Say the last two episodes were recorded before. Uh, we're sort of recorded together, released again, you know. So. Isn't it amazing how quiet I go during Loyal Hamlin? Um, okay, so let's look at it. Uh, again, our breaking news video, Joseph Sakovich has commented that uh, the best video he has ever seen. Oh, um, thanks for that. Uh, thank God Joanna Deere is there to save the jobs. Of course it is, man. Best brand in the world, bye. Um, Grant Clark commented, finally, a dealership worth looking at. Do you want a deer for the win? Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate that the... Uh, oh, I'll have to down up there. Harvester in a second. Unfortunately, we can't bring that one to the console for your run. I don't think Chance would like that. JC Gamer was saying, uh, how the heck did you change the shop name? Um, why the nasty, what nasty pink? It's not nasty pink, and it's lovely to one of your colours. Uh, 
very funny though, even though he is a John Deere fan, good one. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, get Randy to watch this video. Um, I already have. Uh, <laughs> not pressed. Um, interacted to see his reaction, it's hilarious. I love just seeing his face when he first seen it, you know. Right, let's jump down and get our uh, tipper onto the harvester and keep it going. Uh, already Alan did reply to the video. We'll have to talk to the judges about this one. Um, we'll have to talk to the judges. Um, sort of assumes that I know who the judges are, and uh, I don't, so I can't talk to them. Sorry. Let's scroll down, get some more. Dwight Menzies was commenting, love it. <laughs> Again on the uh, the shop. Thanks very much for that. Um, Jeffrey Myers, who is our, uh, you know, volunteer, well actually he, was, he wasn't volunteered to be a judge, he was told he was being won by elected or not, uh, has just replied, oh brother. Yes, Jeffrey, you are still a judge. Whether you like it or not. Uh, Josh, uh, who was a judge in the last competition as well, who is um, voluntold that he is going to be doing this one too. Where's the harvest? There's it over there. Um, he's saying, fantastic. The Joanna, Co Joanna Deer Company is one of the stand-up company. They really bear care about the communities in which they sell their products. Of course, man. They're not like the nasty green. See, this is what I don't like about course play, man. It unfolds itself. Or, you know, it folds itself up at the end of everything. Right, you've been told to... No, you've been told to stop during the... You've been told to stop. It's been told to stop at harvesting. Well, it's not in. Oh, thanks, course play. We're still on the developer version, a uh, pretty early version as well. I haven't updated it. So we can't really complain too much. Again, on the uh, breaking news video there, Darren Castle just put LOL. Um, having fun was just LOL. JS4 <laughs> replied, LOL, this is awesome. Thank you guys. Uh, Eric Schmidt was saying, can't wait for Randy's response. To which Jeremy Wolf replied, love the new shop. Mixed reactions in the shop, isn't it? Try and get this emptied. There we are. Finally. Um, let's just jump into the tra tractor. There we are. Uh, let's see who else is... Uh, Back then to episode 6, and that uh, Nolan Carr was commenting there. Not being able to find classless equipment should tell you something for sure. Maybe they're just holding back for the, you know, the, the DLC that's going to come out on class. Mark my words, there's going to be one. I did find a uh, class Jaguar today, and I did download it to try it, and uh, quickly remove the mod again. Um, it, it just wanted to go backwards. Um, didn't want to move. Got stuck on signs that weren't even near it. So yeah, it's pity, like, because I like the class Jaguar as a chopper. So we've got about what, fourteen or fifteen trees down here at the minute. So. <laughs> At least we're starting on the, uh, getting the challenge completed for the trees. 300 is an awful lot for this map now, but, you know, we'll get there. And, as you can see, we're, uh, handling them quite well. And this is only a small tractor as well. I mean, you know, once we get our, our, a bit of a better tractor going, a bit more higher horsepower, a bit more weight to it, you know, we'll be able to do more quicker. Be able 
to fit that other one onto that. I think we will. Again, there'd be no recommendations, no. I know the trees have to be cut, but um, there's been no nothing said about what you do with them, whether they have to be sold as trees or chips, so I think it's just basically up to whoever wants to do it. Um, I think it was Strong Oaks that asked me in the last uh, video there in the comments if we had set a time per week. Discussed it with Artie Allen yesterday. Again, guys, don't forget to go over and check out Artie Allen. Of course, he'd been the other half of this competition. Um, we've, we've thought about maybe 10 hours a week. That should be uh, ample for you know getting medicine done for the competition. If you want to join in, guys, the link for the map uh, is in the description. Great map by Scuderia. As you know, always, Drummart Farm. We absolutely, I absolutely love Drummart. Um, so yeah, get down and give it a download, guys. Join in on the fun. Just have to tidy this up a bit. Um, let's see what else was saying. Yeah, it was you go strong. Look, was saying there that uh, on episode six that uh, really enjoying the challenge. I've joined and only just started the map and have filled seven, eight, twenty-two, and twenty-five farm based on the land next to the animal dealer. Completed one day. It's harvest time. Keep up the great work. Well, thanks, man. Um, yeah, as I say, uh, strong oaks, strong oak. Uh, you were asking there about the time as well, sort of in the reply section, um, and we have looked at it, sort of thinking about maybe, you know, 10 hours would be sort of a good amount of time a week. Yeah, means that we can all sort of see how we're getting on, engage how we're getting on. Uh, again, I don't know what RDL has even started the wood set or the, the login section of it yet. Uh, again, for me, it was just uh, I'm sitting. I'm going to do a live stream on it. Uh, oh, we're not picking that up. Hi. Just drop it out a bit. See what we we'll do. Uh, we'll throw it up on the chiller for the time being. Yeah, so, 10 hours a week. Come on ahead and join in, boys. Anybody else? JC Gaming was saying, and this is on episode 6 as well. Um, wonder why you don't fertilize fields before you start planting. Good video. Well, thanks, lad. Um, no more space for chickens or eggs. That's a lie. Um, again, I don't know we mentioned this in the comment section. We had a bit of a discussion on it. Um, for me... If I fertilize the field and then use our planter, which fertilizes at the same time, it doesn't give me the extra level of fertilization. You know, if I wanted to do fertilize the field, I then have to sort of, uh, I would have to cultivate it before, um, yeah, I would have to cultivate or weed or something before I can put the second level on. Um, if I put a f level of fertilizer down and then just straight away go ahead and put another level down um, with the cedar, it doesn't doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't give me that extra level. So it has to be a, like a, another. It's too small for that, is it? No. Um. Yeah, there have to be something in between the levels of fertilization. Otherwise, it just doesn't work for me. Last wee bit. We got that area clear. Uh, Ryan Clark. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, good. I see the sugar cane is supported here. Uh, if it's included in the crop types, it'll be fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I wonder if poplars. Of course, poplars are going to be supported now. I don't know, I mean, we haven't mentioned the harvest of all fruit types. Is that something that you just want to see? 
Um, you know, drop it in the comments, let me know. Popular vote wins in that one. Please say no. <laughs> Sugar cane and poppers. <laughs> right, so let's get the straps on this and get it over to the cell point. There's our first bit of logging done. First section done. Um, getting back to episode 6, Dylan Law was saying that Randy has uh, agreed to let you be a judge. Just let me know. Alright, at least we know who one of the judges are. Apparently there's about four or five. Um, welcome along. Couldn't understand. Loose materials like glass, gra glass, grass and straw are easy, are faster on loading. It's true, Cullen. Um They are, but unfortunately we've decided that there's no loose materials. It all has to be uh, bale work when it comes to that sort of stuff. Um, all the animals have to be done by bales. Again, bales can't be bought. It has to be made on the farm. Um, and pig food and horse food and everything else can't be bought. You have to harvest the food to be able to do it. Um, legendary Tater, do you get the pink equipment just to tick Randy off or what? Um, at the start it would have been, but yeah, it's it's sort of become my uh, unofficial colour scheme from the farms now. I think I just choose it now without even thinking about it. Uh, See, uh, Silver Red Man, love your content, but you're zooming way too far out, and it makes it harder to watch. Um, yeah, well, we'll try and get some closer stuff in for you. I just like to see the end of the trailer when I'm driving. But we'll, we'll uh, definitely get some closer work and closer in work for you. I, he reckons that's why I crash so much. I just crash because I'm a useless driver, but uh, don't be telling no one I said that. Let's see, let's see if we can get some more down here. I'll tell you, there's quite a bit to go through. <laughs> yeah, uh, Legendary Taylor was saying there that the pink front loader broke the game. <laughs> Even it doesn't like pink equipment. Of course, he's referring to the problem we had buying the uh, war Warzy or Warzy or whatever you call that thing. Um, I don't think it was the uh, the loader the equipment was the problem, man. I just don't know what was going on there. And of course, here we are at the uh, wood cell point. Chips are behind us. Let's take that off. Jump out. Let's see how much we get for this. I was uh, roughly about twenty grand the load I was getting the last time, so you know, hopefully we'll get something similar. Twenty-eight. There you go. That was a bit more than the last time. So you know, once you get the equipment together, the logging can be quite profitable then, by the look of it. Uh, Magnus is saying there in episode 5. Um, do you have the big MB track? If not, get it. Great video as always. Oh, thank you. Uh, Magnus, I'm not sure what you mean by the big MB track. Um, I have mine maxed out to the 1800. Um, I know that there is a version out there, and they're calling it a prototype, but it's not a proper MB track. It's, it's a reskin of the uh, JCB. Is that the one that you mean? big black thing on the mobile hub pages. It's just it's just been rebranded as the JCB been rebranded man. Um oh, we need to go unload the harvester again man. That's good. Yeah we're getting two light loads in that field, that's pretty sweet. Give us some wheat in this field as well. Um Eric Schmidt was saying, episode 4, horse pen, episode 5, horse pen, gone. I don't know where you were looking, man. It, it's been there from, um, it's been there from a bit of time. I haven't moved it, I haven't taken it away. Um, I must look back and see what you mean, but, you know, it, you know the horses are uh, gaining in value, so they haven't went anywhere. Let's just get you parked up. So, yeah, we need to go and, uh, Maybe just hire the uh, stump cutter for now and go and um, get that area de-stumped. Let's just jump into our uh, cloth. Uh, Joseph was uh, commenting there as well uh, on episode 5. Do you want a tank? Uh, I take it you mean the water tank. The <laughs> uh, Zinhammer. Um, Jeez, what would you call it? Call it a Susie Zinhammer? I don't know. 
Looks like we're getting quite a decent uh, load of this field. Again, it's unloaded there. It must be something to do with the, the header that, you know, the course play doesn't like, because it's unfolded it again, look. Uh, see, Joseph was also saying there, you know, I might just start watching Randy. He's more interesting because, you know, he likes to cheat with cheatish mods and cheatish ways. Ah, cheaters never win, man. Cheaters never win. I, I think that's why the judges are being kept quiet, you know, in secret. They're all part of the master race. We need, you know, apart from Dylan, um, you know, the rest of us are, you know, any other supreme to the master race judges out there, is there? Uh, FS19 seems to drop materials like grass, hay, and straw. It's interesting. Um, drop materials. Are you going to start this? R oh, look at this circle of death thing. Get on now. There you go. There's a first for SF19 for me. Circle of death by course play. No, no. It's going to start. No, it's not. Ah, uh, we'll do the last bit ourselves. But look at that. Again, I first need to unfold the two. Don't know what does this. Um, see, Joe was saying there that he loved the shop tour. No wonder why John Deere. No wonder why is it John Deere dealer? Yeah, not anymore, man. Uh, let's see, Ryan Clark. It just proves the PC suck. They really, really suck. In uh, reply to episode five. Back up there. Uh, he's also saying, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but the second load of bills, two bills didn't sell because uh, they weren't in the seal trigger. Yeah, the seal trigger seems a bit smaller than the trailer ran. Um, but we keep that in mind from, well, we have kept it in mind from the last few uh, sales, so we've been all right there. Again, guys, thanks very much for all the comments. You know, it's, it's interesting to see what people think. Especially the guys that are playing along, like strong and stuff, you know. Definitely keep us updated on how you're going. Either, you know, comments here, comments in Randy. Um, again, keeping in mind the challenge and uh, what we're trying to get here and trying to do. If you have any comments and anything you'd like to see or any suggestions, definitely drop it down in below, man. Um, sometimes it takes me a wee while to get around to answering it, but I do try to get around to answer all of the, uh, the comments. Seventy-six grand. Hey, should we sell it? I don't think I have any in stock there. A quick peek. That's a shot up there. Beans. No, none in storage. Just whatever we got off this field. Then we got. Um, what's the price like? Well, two thousand and ninety-four in rising. I think I'll maybe wait for a bit. You know. Oh, missed that bit. We're not desperate for money. Yes, I would like to get another, you know, sort of class like tractor, you know, another one like that, horsepower wise. Um, because there's, you know, the cedar needs it. Um, plow needs it. Um, what we have also got as well, and I just got my hands in this, well, late last night, I suppose it is, is uh, another mod from the Master Dead Eye Mother Gutter. Uh, who has converted a mod um, so we're going to give that a try out and see how it works uh, unfortunately it's a nasty green but ah well somebody has to use them so yeah let's just have a quick peek at that in the shop uh, yeah so as I say to you uh, this has been converted by uh oh it's going to take a while to load is it Converted by a, a member of the Busters community there, Nolan, um, who loves his John Deere, um, and put a different, a few different options in this. But for some reason, it won't show in the shop. Hmm. No, not the Stara, that one. Oh, that won't show up. Yeah. Well, um, I'm gonna 
the shop altogether and go back into it. Oh. Okay, so course play is running some loose. Great. Thanks, course play. Uh, maybe that's the reason why it's not getting into the shop. We'll find that out in a bit. Is there a phone menu still going? Yeah, it does. Um, yeah, but the uh, the R R4045 is uh, being converted over. Uh, the sprayer function at the minute is not working, but we do have the solid fertilizer uh, function working. So um, it's got a changeable body on it, so we can we can have like two different bins: one for fertilizer and one for uh, um, uh, you know lime. So that would save us some money instead of buying two different you know big trailers, a bit of a multi-purpose machine. Slowing its way up. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's uh, that's it for another episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. To all of those new guys that's come along, thank you very much for hitting the subscribe button. Um, don't forget to hit the wee bell uh, button for notifications of future and upcoming videos. And uh, I shall see you all in the next episode here on Glen Isla. Uh, what we're going to be doing then, I don't know just yet, but we'll find out. Uh, so from me to you guys, see you all later.